Hello guys and welcome to the gaming news for the 11th of November 2021. So Battlestate Games are updating the engine of Escape from Tarkov from Unity 2018 to Unity 2019. So they sent out a tweet saying that we have started the installation of patch whatever. In this patch we have upgraded the game engine from Unity 2018 to 2019. And then they follow up by saying the patch installation is complete. We remind that in this patch we have migrated to Unity 2019. And it does not contain any new game mechanics, content, graphic changes, or optimizations. All of this, including the LSS, is planned to be released in upcoming patches. So they're obviously still in the process of doing the upgrade fully from one engine to the other. And it's a welcome thing for games to upgrade their engines. So, for example, I would really like to see an engine upgrade for Final Fantasy XIV. So, because it's starting to age. But, yeah, so good. And then the next bit of news for today is uh, footage for the Elden Ring Network test is now being released by uh, big content creators. They're not allowed to stream it, but they're allowed to make four videos. And hopefully soon um, the restrictions on it will loosen so people can actually stream it to show you what the game is like if you didn't get into the network test. So if you're excited, then uh, check out the videos. Um, Notable content creators who've uploaded videos already are people like the Rad Brad or Maximilian Dude. So you can check out their videos and their thoughts on the Elden Ring test if you're interested. And then the last bit of news for today is ETA the Trilogy Definitive Edition launches today. And it launches in about 30 minutes um, after of creating of this video. So I'm looking forward to jumping into it, um, especially GTA 3 because I loved it back on the PlayStation 2. Now, um, something to note for those who did play it way back when is that lots of the music licenses have since expired. So, for example, at the very beginning of GTA Vice City, one of the things that really introduced you into the game is that the first time you jump into a car, Michael Jackson, Billie Jean is playing on the radio. That does not happen anymore. That was removed years ago, back in 2014. So, and they are not going to be renewing the licenses. So um, it won't give you completely the experience in terms of the music, but hopefully it will give you a lot more um, feel for the game given the graphic upgrade so you can try and remember how good the games were from a gameplay point of view. And the unfortunate side is, as a content creator myself, um, all the music will be muted anyway. So um, yeah, so I'll just be enjoying it uh, with my community. So anyway, guys, that's it for the gaming news for today. Thank you so much, as always, for the new followers coming onto the feed. I really appreciate you, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.